This is another pine branch. You'll notice these needles are dry. They're not green. Uh, it, you can look at all of the pine branches that are around here, but this one I'm stopping at because you'll see we have this larger lichen here. And depending on the light, in full sun, it looks a little more green. But can you tell that it's a little more greenish, yellowish green than these gray lichens here? These are a powdery rosette lichen. Fissia americana is its scientific name. This is common green shield. And it's pretty small here, but it can grow as big as that rough speckled shield lichen that we just saw. This is just around the corner from that. And this is the other one of the large lichens that I can show you on this. You notice there's another little candle flame down here along with all of these uh, powdery rosette lichens. This is interesting, these powdery rosette lichens they're often found on deciduous trees, but here on this walk, I have found these, we're gonna have another stop with pine branches, and I have found these only on pine branches here. Don't know why, but I just wanted to show you this one because the, these are the only two of the very large leafy lichens that I could find that are suitable for including in this virtual tour. Uh, when you walk around other trails in the preserve, you're likely to see these. But, ooh, and the sun is brightening up, and now it looks, it's a little more noticeably greener than the gray lichens next to it in the full sun, or in the brighter, in the sun. It's not really bright sun now, but at least there's sun.